What's up, guys? Here is the pie here, back with another video. And today, um, Judd isn't gonna be in this video today, but it's only me and my dad are home. So I'm just gonna quick go through. Uh, did I? Wow, Alexa, play "Fishy on Me" by Tico. I should give us something. Fishy on me by Tico on Amazon Music. I should give us this. Yeah, hey boys. Yeah, boys. We're back. This loved it. The last fishy song. Yeah, well, show me another. We guys enjoy it. It's a banger. Yeah, keep playing. I'm all the place, but the fishy on me. Got another B, but the fishy on me. Got another yeah. B, but I'll slap your knee. Fishy on me. Fishy on me. I'm all the place, but the fishy on me. Got another B, but I'll slap your knee. Fishy on me by Tico. Here's Fishy on me by Tico on Amazon Music. Hey boys, yeah, we're back. We're back. Yes, love it. The last fishy song. Yeah, well, sure. Because it helps me get into a ranking of the cheeks. I 
Okay. No, that was it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we might not do a lot because our battery is running low, but don't worry. That's clean Eastwood ball. So do 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 Let's see what do we want to play. Where is it? Uh zombies. Where is the zombie hunter three D? Where is it? I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. I've played this before and I've loved it. We try. It looks like this isn't working. So let's exit out of this. Go here. Go here. And one ding 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 ning 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 Let's see the the pilot. Okay, perfect. Now in my, uh, let's see, uh, let's go to my channel. What do we got here? What do you want to do? Um, happy birthday, brother, one view. Um, uh, let's see, no. Simple, history? Hmm, right here, let's Let's watch a little bit of that. Okay. So. Okay. This is a terrible one, so. You know that I made a video, which is good, bad, and bugby. But I turned about simple history. And this is a sports about simple history. Oh yeah, and look at this. I have subscribed. Sniper decoys. Dummy head. World War One. The World War First World War saw extensive use of snipers in combat. For mm -hmm. the first time, rifles with telescopic sights were used on a large scale, which under the conditions of trench warfare were considered very effective. At first, the German Imperial Army were the only ones to seriously consider scoped rifles. As soon as the British and French were aware of the German successes with scoped rifles, they also introduced them to the battlefield. Even though sharpshooters existed before, it was the introduction of scopes that allowed them to shoot accurately at very long distances. With a scoped rifle, a good marksman was able to acquire his target very easily. He could kill an enemy that barely protruded his head over the trench parapet if he was fast enough. With such horrifying capabilities, snipers became an object of fear for the soldiers in the trenches, especially because they fired from well-concealed positions. Since the art of camouflaging was developing more and more as the war progressed, snipers became harder to detect. For soldiers whose everyday life was weighted by the threat of snipers, it became a necessity to counter this danger. With the awareness of the sniper threat widespread, soldiers paid a lot of attention not to expose themselves. This forced snipers to act quickly and to use the shortest moment to fire at the enemy. It was based on this hastiness that camouflage units designed their deception. Their intention was to force the enemy sniper into making a flawed decision and to draw out his fire so his position could be located. 
One of the most popular decoys of the war were paper mache heads. Paper mache was a very popular material before the war and was used in making dolls and various components for amusement parks, carnivals, and expositions. It was very cheap, but to make it consisted of chopping down pieces of paper, reinforced with any kind of bounding material, whether it was glue or plain starch. Good. Besides the fact that it was cheap, it was also so very good for modeling. We're gonna have to stop there, but don't worry, that's not good. We're gonna come back to simple history in a sec. That's gonna do a fine just zooming in on that. But anyways, we're gonna come to simple history in a sec. Is that a... I mean, I don't want to have him with a bayonet because of my dad, but this should I do. Okay. Of course, I'm going to go set up the game. So. So if you couldn't see that, but yeah. Why did I go down here? Okay. Hey, Leon. What? Come Why are you up there? Okay, so if you don't know what this is, it's up. Stress level. So, if I... So, I don't know if you can see that, but... But... Can, but... Just look, so you see it? It's like a really good stress reliever. 
So we can take this guy and go back to be watching some simple history. Now simple history is gonna end it off now. But we'll just watch a little bit of simple history. So So let's just open this back up. And we just gonna Sorry about that. <laughs> Just gotta sign in as my password. Okay. So. we go okay okay we're back the job of making decoy heads out of paper mache was entrusted to camouflage units who were working in their small improvised workshops on the front lines sculptors working in these workshops made a huge variety of decoy heads with great precision and resemblance to real human heads Special attention was given to shaping face details and coloring the face to look like real skin. This push for realism was necessary because they were to be observed through scopes with magnifying lenses. In order to increase the realistic look of the head, some of these were equipped with rubber surgical tubes connected to the mouth with a cigarette in it. By blowing air through the tube, an impression of a soldier smoking a cigarette was made. This increased the possibility of attracting the attention of the sniper. Paper mache heads were usually stuck on a long stick in order to securely lift it over the parapet. If the deception was successful and the dummy head was hit by a sniper, bullet holes were then used to locate the sniper with the help of a triangulation method. Or another method was to slide a periscope into the head and spot the sniper that way. Once the approximate location was established, the sniper's position was bombarded by artillery or counter snipers would focus on that area. The technique of dummy heads was invented by the British, who at the beginning of the war had a lot of problems with German snipers. This method was a result of their struggle to fight the hidden enemy. The same method would also be used by other sides. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. that really just happened well that was lucky well thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so don't miss another video bye guys see you in the next video